The WTT real-time translator needs to be connected to your phone in order to work. We now support iPhone and most mainstream Android phones. You can download our app on the Apple App Store and on Google Play as well. So this is our app. It will need internet connection when you're using it. Please make sure the internet connection in your phone is good enough. Please make sure WT2 has enough power. Before first use, we recommend charging the device for at least two hours. Okay, let's now get started. First, please take the earphones out of the case, just like this. When both lights are flashing blue, it means WT2 um, has been waken up and begun pairing. When the lights stop flashing and remain blue, the earphones are connected to each other, as you can see. If this is the first time you use the WT2 app, the app will need your permission to use Bluetooth, microphone, and Wi-Fi or mobile data. So the app will be searching for the device, and once found, you just click on the name. So for first-time users, please follow the instructions to activate Bluetooth. So for that, we'll be going to settings. We just have to click on it. And then you just click on the name of the device and you just wait till it is connected. So once connected, you just go back to the app and you connect the device again. And that is it. The app now shows uh, how much power is left for each earphone. At the same time, the lights will both turn green. WT2 earphones can be told apart from the lights on the side. No, they are not the same. One is the primary earphone, it is yours. The other one is the secondary earphone. So now, let's see the difference between the two earphones. The one with a simple speech bubble is the primary earphone, it is yours. The other one with the little shape above the speech bubble is the secondary earphone. Make sure you give your counterpart the secondary earphone as you have more features on yours. More languages and features will be added later with updates. Now we can start setting up the languages. Head to the main screen and then make your choices. You can choose your and your counterpart's language. More languages will be available later. WT2 currently supports three modes, the auto mode, the manual mode, and the ask mode. Select your preferred style and start communicating. Please note the WT2 uses a highly sensitive touch button. The touch sensor area is on the light and one centimeter below. When using ask mode or manual mode, you need to hold the sensor just like this. Um, when using the auto mode, you don't need to touch the sensor as the translation is done automatically. Thank you very much for using the WT2 translator. We look forward to breaking down the language barriers in your life. Speak like a local. See you in WT2 app.